Have you ever needed to show somebody how to do something on a phone, but wanted to send them something they can follow visually? I got you covered. If you have followed any of my phone tutorials before, you know I have this little floaty button right here. So the first step is going to be get your assistive touch on. So let me show you how to do that. We're first gonna go to, well, in my phone, <laughs> settings, and then we're gonna go down to accessibility. From accessibility, we're gonna press touch, and in touch, we're gonna go to assistive touch and make sure that this is on. When you turn it off, you see my button goes away and now I can't give you any information on where to go or what to press because I don't have that navigation. So when I press it on, I don't need this right here, but at least now I can guide you on the screen on what it is. Assistive touch is pretty much just another option on how you can use that middle button that we used to have on the iPhones because mine broke a while ago. So this is how I even know how to use this. But I can press it and you can see I have all of the various different navigation things that I can use if we have those buttons or the controls that we use with our fingers. So that's assistive touch. So now I'll come out of here and assistive touch is going to be step number one. So you can guide people with your fingers and show them what to press and where to go. The second tool that we wanna make sure that is available to us is going to be screen recording. So in my phone, all I have to do is like swipe down like this and I have my screen recording right here. So let's make sure that you have that option as well. We're gonna go back to settings, click on settings. And now what you're gonna do is in your control center, Click that and make sure that you have screen recordings already selected from the apps that we have. If you don't see it, let's pretend that it wasn't here and remove it. So if you don't see screen recording right here in your control center, you're gonna scroll down until you see it, screen recording and press plus. Now screen recording has been added back and you can change the area or where it is in order by using these little three buttons and just moving it up. Now screen recording will be in our control center. That's step number two. The other thing that when it comes to screen recordings that you wanna make sure that you're aware of, especially if you're gonna be using your voice to tell people how to do things, is you wanna long press on this button and make sure that the microphone is on if you're using your voice to tell people what to do. If not, no big deal. After that, you're gonna go ahead and press screen recording. The third thing is to know what you're actually showing people. So for this particular example, I'm gonna show people how to post on Instagram. So we'll walk through all the steps once more and I'll make my tutorial. So here we go. First thing, I have my assistive touch on, so that's great. It's always on for me. So if you wanna turn it on and off, that's on you. Mine is always available. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe down. I'm gonna long press on the record button and I'm going to press microphone on and I'm gonna start recording. Okay, the way that we know that it's recording is when we see this red button up here, that means it is on. And when we want to finish recording, we can also press that same button to be done. My third step is now showing people how to post on Instagram. So now I'm narrating. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and press on Instagram. The next thing we're going to do is press the plus button. And now we're going to choose our piece of media or picture that we can post. So I'm going to post this one here. I'm going to click on it and we have the number one. Now I'm going to press next. And from here, I can trim if I needed to, trim right here, or I can trim the beginning by clicking on here and moving it. And now that we've done that, we can either cancel or we can go to next. From this screen, we have the opportunity to download, add more music, further customize, and then we can press next. All right, so I feel like you get the point because the assistive touch has allowed me to guide. I'm also recording my screen. And now that I have shown people how to post to Instagram, I can now press this button right here, the number, and it will say stop screen recording and I can press stop. And now what it's gonna do is save that video to my camera roll. Let's head on over, take a look at that. We're now here inside of my camera roll, so let's take a look and listen. And now we're going to choose our piece of media or picture that we can post. So I'm gonna post this one here. Creating screen recording tutorials is a great way to share information and cut down on frustration when you are trying to show somebody how to do something inside of their phone. It has also been a great time saver for me for me to be able to record something one time that can be shared multiple times for other people to understand and implement on their own. Comment below with a screen tutorial that you need to make for your audience. Things are wrapping up quickly for this 30-day content series, but I want to thank you so much for the time and attention that you've shared so far. If you need to rewatch any of these videos, they will always be available to you. And if you've received any value, please share this with other creators or business owners that need more content ideas that's going to save them time and hassle.